Hello and welcome to another Affinity Photo tutorial. My name is Alex Taradachuk and if you're new to this channel, I post weekly tutorials on how to edit photos using Affinity Photo, Photoshop and Lightroom. So if you want to learn more about editing your photos, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to get notified when I upload new videos. High dynamic range photos or HDR. Well, you want to use this technique when you want to add more drama to your image. As you can see here, this is a more dramatic look of the image. In comparison, I can show you the um, original photo. And of course, I've attached all the images so you can follow along. So let me show you the difference between the original photo and the high dynamic one. And you can judge which one is better. So as you can see, there is a very big difference in the image. First of all, you have more shadows in the image, more depth, it's more crispier if I can say so. You have more details in the area where you have more light. And of course, you have more details on the dress, on the hat and so on. So how do you in this image after you've taken the bracketing images you go and file HDR merge and again you can follow me using the images attached to this lesson select all the images click open here automatically align images I took these photos handheld so a little bit of movement in the image could occur between the brackets it's good to automatically align the images. Let's use the perspective. Remove ghosts. Basically, when the images are overlaying, you could have some ghosting or some, let's say, traceability between the top layer and the bottom layer. So you can see some ghosts there. So click on the automatically remove ghosts as well. Noise reduction, I usually, let's say, 30%. And tone map HDR image, leave that on as well and hit OK. And let the magic work. Okay, so after the software finishes analyzing and overlaying the images, you'll get this persona that we talked in the beginning, the tone mapping persona. And you can start modify the image. You can use the presets, as you can hear. And for example, if you like it, there you go, you can use it. But I think this is a little too dramatic for me, but you can modify it. So let's choose, for example, let's choose this one. And let's try to modify it a little bit. You can work with the exposure, bring the exposure back in. Brightness, go back. Black point, it's like this. Tone compression, wait 100%. Now use the saturation and the vibrance. compression local compression and of course whew, look at these curves if I disable them oh curves it's everything <laughs> so bring back the curves and let's adjust the curves layer basically bring it back in There you go. It's a little bit more normal. You can play here, find different presets. I have this one. This looks nice. This is more cold. Miami Beach. Grim and Decay. That's not good, for, at least not for this image. Urban Grift. But let's go with the default and put a detailed one. These are more normal, let's say. So detail will bring 
the shadows more into your image. Let's say if you're happy with this one, click apply. And it will create a layer with all the options attached to it. I hope that this helped you have a better understanding on how HDR is working and how you can create images with Affinity Photo.